Tonight, when police officers are in the spotlight for their actions, police departments all across the country are dealing with a shortage of officers. Experts say there could be two reasons why. One, many cities are facing budget cuts on top of some groups calling for departments to be defunded. The other is morale is down because of the protests across the country. So what can be done to help bring in more recruits? Yesterday, I spoke with Dr. Alex Del Carmen. He helps train new recruits in Fort Worth, Texas. Dr. Del Carmen, thanks for joining us tonight. The National Police Foundation reports that 86% of police departments across the country have a shortage of police officers right now. Why do you think that is? You know, um, if you look back at the past four or five years, law enforcement has received such negative ratings uh, throughout social media, and throughout the public that I'm actually not surprised that it's had an effect on the, not only on the number of officers that are coming in uh, to police, but also those that are gonna stay. Has this been an ongoing issue for several years or is it because of recent events involving police officers across the country? Well, you know, it's not a recent issue per se, right? We've always sort of fluctuated in the number of police officers that come in to work uh, for a police department, but we saw a rise on these cases since the Ferguson uh, component. In fact, some of us actually call it the Ferguson effect uh, as it relates to how the city of Ferguson and all the happenings in that city had a negative impact on law enforcement. Well, police departments are having a hard time finding new recruits right now, but they are also having a hard time keeping the officers that they have on the force. Why is that? You know, many police officers feel, you know, that, that the pay is not good. The hours are not flexible. The pressures of the job are immense. And now on top of that, they're facing this backlash from the media or through the media, the public and whatnot. So I think the question is why should anyone seek a job or stay in law enforcement today uh, when all of these things seem to surround the profession, which is really unfortunate for the rest of us. So if there's a shortage of officers, what does that mean for police protection in some communities? You know, it's gonna suffer, right? So if we don't really step up right now, I think in a year or two, we are going to see serious negative effects uh, throughout the country as it relates to the protection and, uh, and the peacemaking component that law enforcement bring to the communities at large. And so I think we better step up to the plate and do something quickly. And certainly defunding a law enforcement agency is not the solution. All right. Well, in your opinion, what can police departments do to get new recruits in? What can be done to turn this trend around? You know, some agencies here in Texas, we see them uh, seeking out with bonuses, uh, sign up bonuses, uh, scholarships sometimes for school or college. I think those things work, but at the end of the day, it's about a vocation, it's not a career. It's about having somebody that's willing to do something for everybody else except themselves and putting their lives on the line for the rest of us. And so it, takes, it requires a very special person. So law enforcement, I think they have to appeal to that idealism that many of the young millennials have to try to do something greater than themselves. Well, you work with and train police officers. What is life like today for an officer out there on the street? It's incredibly tough. You know, we see uh, throughout the nation that we, we hear reports and we read reports when they talk about how some police officers fail to disengage, to engage. Uh, some of them are turning away from criminal incidents because they're just afraid that someone is gonna film it, judge it and, and act accordingly. And then others, you know, don't seem to be as affected as, 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 as some, but at the end of the day, it's having a, a really, really negative effect around the United States in all walks of law enforcement, uh, whether it's state, local or federal, uh, we are seeing that negative effect and we've got to do something about it. And finally, what would you say to someone out there who is considering a job in law enforcement right now? I would say that this is a great time from a historical perspective to join law enforcement, but to ensure that they're joining law enforcement for the right reasons and that they have the right uh, frame of mind because they're gonna be dealing with very tough circumstances in the next 20 years. All right, Dr. Del Carmen, thanks for joining us tonight. Thanks for having me.